It's unfortunate that we have to return to such a detestable human being with another video, but unfortunately, yes, we have more details as to what's really been going on. Uh, no, I'm not talking specifically about Biden, or if you take a look at one of the more popular videos uh, recently for me, uh, the Joey Ryan video, we're not talking about Jim Cornette, even though it really seems like I triggered those spurgs out there, but some of my normal user base went back and watched that very, very, very long video, and appreciate you guys for that but anyways no we got to talk about the highland park shooter because biden he's not going to be doing that he has more important things just don't ask him what those more important things are uh and you know he's not too sure if he's going to be going down to highland park mostly because probably not enough black people to be shot for him to really care about that so he decided to send his bitch down there so yeah kamala went down there and said ah if we had more gun control that would have stopped everything we needed an assault weapons ban yeah because that worked at the time and again look at the laws that are on the books for highland park and for illinois specifically stupid and realize that what laws out there would have actually helped prevent any of this stuff or maybe maybe if you take a look at the root cause of all of this stuff you're gonna notice that um taking a look at a bunch of these other mass shootings that happen like school shootings and then yes parade accidents well this wasn't an accident at all okay oh these per uh, the parade massacres mm, go ahead and correct that obviously because that's what this was you're gonna notice something notice something that well of all people that i'm gonna be referencing here in a little bit uh tucker carlson decided to point out in his show last night but yeah no like it says here biden unsure that could be a lot of things okay that could be what he's gonna have for breakfast uh what's gonna hold for him tomorrow if he's gonna make it to tomorrow but again he's just unsure about his trip to highland park because nobody's told him where he's gonna be going tomorrow and it's not like he has an autonomous thought left in his head anymore and again he's not entirely sure because when he learned about the borders of the united states it was just simply 13 colonies so he has no idea uh, i'm going to illaware Illa, Illa what? Oh, uh, no, I don't know. I don't think so. Come on, man. But enough about that. It's just political theater that's going on right there. Kamala making her stance. We need an assault weapons ban. We need more laws on the books because then, therefore, we just have more criminals on the streets. And if we just didn't want any more shootings out there, we should just make murder illegal. So, we got charges. We got charges and maybe a little bit of motive for this hunk of shit human being. I'm gonna try to refrain from saying his name as much as possible because that's always another one of those things. These people just want their own little personal 15 minutes of fame and I think I gave him about 30 and change yesterday, so fuck him. Highland Park uh, shooting suspect charged with seven counts of murder. Hopefully there's more counts than that because there's still several people that were injured in this as well. And one unfortunate story to, um, that we're going to highlight specifically. Okay, so Highland Park, 4th of July, uh, parade sh uh, suspect shooter, that's the most awkward way to phrase that, has been charged with seven counts of murder. Lake County State Attorney Eric Reinhardt told reporters on Tuesday evening that dozens more charges are being sought and that if convicted, he would face mandatory life sentence with no possibility of parole. Round of applause for doing the right thing in this situation. Absolutely. Should never see the light of day again. And then we should also take a look at that old uh, death sentence in uh, Illinois. See if that's still on the books. Uh, we anticipate dozens of more charges centering around each victim. Psychological victims, physical victims, attempted murder charges. I'd expect attempted murder charges. Uh, aggravated discharge, aggravated battery charges. Yeah, total disregard for human life. It, at the end of the day, though, I think the seven life sentences are pretty much just going to guarantee that this fucks and not going anywhere for a long fucking time. Uh, Reinhardt described the tragedy as a well-orchestrated and carefully planned crime that was carried out by a guy in drag. Okay, very well orchestrated. Yeah, mm-hmm. You know how they know that? Because he was on the FBI's watch list. What? The FBI didn't do their job again? consider me shocked but anyways and stressed uh, he would ask a judge to hold the shooter without the possibility of bail uh, considering the fact that uh, he was also looking at doing subsequent shootings okay carrying out other events and he has the accessibility to 
achieve that maybe not through firearms means but again by just being a crazy fuck and just driving through one of those nice parks in the suburbs of chicago like this dude's a threat okay let's just uh Keep it above board here. The shooter fired more than 70 rounds from atop the commercial building into the crowd who gathered for an Independence Day parade in Highland Park, an affluent community on Michigan Lake Shore near Chicago. Uh, he fled the scene, leaving behind his rifle. Again, very carefully planned. Why would you do that? Anyways, dressed as a woman in an attempt to evade capture. The rifle led law enforcement directly to the shooter. So yeah, again, it was expertly planned but did he expertly desire to get caught then why would he need the costume huh things aren't really adding up here okay and chris cavelli uh lake county department or deputy chief and major crime task force spokesperson said okay the rifle led law enforcement directly yeah, to the shooter okay um yeah and this is where it's going to get even more sad like yesterday it was kind of just disturbing going through his backstory okay but yeah, we got a list of the people who are unfortunately killed. It was six yesterday when we did it, and it turns out that it's now seven people. So hopefully it doesn't get any worse than this, but uh, here we go. Uh, Lake County Coroner re released the names of the victims. Catherine Goldstein, um, Stephen Strauss, Nicholas Toledo, Jackie Sundheim, and both Arena and Kevin McCarthy. Who leave behind a two-year-old boy, Aiden, who, reading other reports as well, uh, Kevin took a bullet because he was trying to shield his kid. Ugh, God, this fucking hunk of shit. Shouldn't even waste the cell space, but thankfully, and unfortunately, they're using GoFundMe, but thankfully, man, uh, the community and just kind of a lot of people at large are really rallying behind this tragedy to do something good because this kid is not gonna, this is like, okay, just add a little levity to the situation. It's kind of like a Batman origin story. Okay, you got a crazy shooter and both of his parents are dead. And he's going to at least get a nice little nest egg to get things started. It doesn't replace your parents, obviously. And the fact that you're never going to know them. But I guess there's something good that comes out of this. Two-year-old Aiden McCarthy was left bloodied and alone after his, oh, after his parents were killed during the horrific shooting at a 4th of July parade in, in Highland Park, Illinois on Monday. On Tuesday, a GoFundMe should have used Give, Send, Go because GoFundMe are still super cucked. Uh, was set up to help raise money for Aiden and his extended family who will now have to care for him. Donations have reached nearly $2 million. Do we have a link to there? Because I just want to check this right. Wow, $2.5 million as of reporting. Yeah, you guys can see that on the screen. That's awesome, okay? There will be a link in the article as well. You can just click on the GoFundMe, and it'll take you right there. Get rid of this stupid little banner. Okay. In the aftermath of the Highland Park, Illinois shooting on July 4th, the North Shore community rallied to help a boy who we knew nothing about, wrote Irina Colon. All right, or organizer of the fundraiser fundraiser uh, we took him to safety under tragic circumstances came together to locate his grandparents and prayed for the safety of his family at two years old she continued aiden is left with the unthinkable position to grow up without his parents yeah on behalf of his family and with their permission she concluded i'm establishing this fundraiser to support him and the caregivers who will be tasked with raising him, caring for, and supporting Aiden as he and his support system embark on this unexpected journey. Fucking awful, but it's great that the community and even just the extended community, because obviously that probably by the time that this gets published and anybody will have the opportunity to go check it independently, care of this video right here, uh, it'll probably eclipse $3 million, which is great, which is great, and it's better than what, you know, the government's doing. So once again, uh, private charity better than the government okay nine people remained hospitalized tuesday ranging in age from 14 to 70 hospital officials say uh, a family assistance center will open up in highland park high school from noon or, or yeah from noon on wednesday okay at the family assistance center victims will be offered trauma counseling oh i don't whatever it's something to do i guess government aid assistance and if necessary financial assistance said cavelli no uh, victims are not just those physically injured from yesterday's events but those who are experiencing emotional damage but yeah no as you can see here known to the fucking police cavelli said that the shooter used a sim or uh, used a rifle similar to an ar-15 uh which was purchased legally within the past year 
kind of through a straw purchase, but you know what? Hey, you just go ahead and you you continue to push that because we got an update on that. Anyways, uh, the magazine held approximately 30 rounds. Oh my God, an illegal gun. But if he was perched on top of a building, okay, and he had two rifles there as well, I'm just saying, man, like that shit is costly. And it was bought within the past year when rifle prices and even just firearm sales were uh, through the roof and prices were continuing to climb alongside just the rampant inflation that's going along right now. I've got to wonder, I've got to wonder again who was helping to fund all this stuff, but whatever. Okay, so uh, the father of the shooter sponsored his application for his purchase, Illinois State uh, Police said in a statement on Tuesday evening. Hmm, but he was still known to police. Known to police for the fact that he legally purchased a, a firearm or had a, a co-signer for that firearm? Uh, no. No, uh, he was a person of interest uh, for the Illinois State Police Department. At the time of the shooter's application for the firearm permit in January of 2020, there was insufficient basis to establish a clear and present danger and deny the application. This was despite Illinois police receiving a clear and present danger report. Oh, in September 2019, after receiving reports that the shooter threatened his family. Yeah, hopefully they go into detail on this because I actually know the story behind this. Uh, Cremo uh, threatened his family. No arrests were made and no one was willing to come forward on a complaint. Uh, he held them all at a sword point. Yeah, sword point. Uh, threatened to kill them all in the house. I don't know, man. That seems like a pretty mentally fucked dude, okay? And yet again... <laughs> Hashtag back the blue. The boys in blue always got your back on this one. If you get something like that, okay, you have somebody who has a history of making death threats. Okay, I'm pretty much, okay, I would be, especially if I lived in the United States, but even just uh, from the outside looking in, like, I'd be pretty much a self er, Second Amendment um, absolutist, but if you're going to be taking away uh, gun rights from violent felons, uh, somebody who's making, like, an actionable um, death threat, uh, you should be at least a little bit wary of. I'm just saying, but if you think that that's not insufficient, or you think that that is insufficient basis, I don't really know, man, and especially given the fact that it's fucking Illinois, I got some questions. I got some questions. But more on this anyways. Okay, the subject in uh, the January 4th, or January 4th, sorry, July 4th massacre. Highland Park, Illinois, was able to purchase firearms despite having been flagged as a clear and present danger by police in 2019. This came after police were called to the shooter's home, oh, shooter's family's home. In September 2019, Illinois State Police, ISP, not the, you know, internet service provider, received a clear and present danger report on the subject of Highland Park Police Department. In the report uh, was related to threats the subject made against his family, Illinois State Police said in the statement. Yeah, exactly. So it wasn't just merely like a false alarm to the local police department. State troopers were involved in this one. So again, you had all this information and you didn't act on it. Huh. Interesting. Very interesting. In September 2019, I uh, saw police attend, oh, attend the Cremo home and asked uh, the suspect if he was interested in harming himself. He said no, and the officers took his collection of knives. Oh, okay, cool. So they took the knives, but then at the same time, didn't do anything when he was looking to buy a firearm? What are we doing here? What the fuck are we doing here? Later, the suspect's father, Bob Cremo, said the knives were his and they were returned to the home. Hmm, interesting. Enough of a threat at the time to make a phone call. But then, hmm, yeah, okay. At the time, no arrests were made and the family was not willing to move forward on the complaint, nor did they provide information on threats of mental health and would have allowed law enforcement to take additional action. A firearm restraining order was not filed, nor any order of protection. Three months after the incident, the suspect was able to get a firearm owner identification card. That's fine. Sponsored by the suspect's father. Uh, the suspect was under 21. Oh, as the suspect was under 21. Oh, okay. That was, yeah, 2020. That was a couple years ago. Okay, that makes sense. The subject was under 21 and the application was sponsored by the subject's father. 
Therefore, at the time of the FOID application review in January of 2020, there was an insufficient basis to establish clear and present danger and deny the FOID application, police said. The suspect went on to clear four background checks when purchasing firearms on June 9th, 2020, on July 18th, and July 31st. 1st, 2021, and on September 20th, 2021. Fox News reports, the only criminal charge against the suspect prior to the mass shooting was possession of tobacco in 2016. As a youth? Like, that's a crime? The fuck? Parents of the suspect, uh, Bob Cremo and Denise Pacina, have retained counsel. Yeah, this is pretty fucked. Hopefully it doesn't end up in, like, a... The, I forget the, the crumbly parents' names, okay? The ones in Michigan there who are getting charged with negligent manslaughter. That's an entirely fucked other situation. We talked about that at the time, okay? I think that these parents are negligent, but holding them responsible for their actions that are fucked in the head, son? Well, they push them along that line. That's another conversation to be had, but to be held legally liable? Um, uh, that's, that's a bridge too far for me. The family of the suspected gunman in the Highland Park mass shooting on July 4th are speaking out in the wake of the massacre. Series of tweet posted by their counsel, Steve Greenberg. Uh, the firm was asked by Cremo's family to represent them on Monday following the shooting. Greenberg tweeted, the parents of the accused Highland Park shooter have retained us to represent them. Uh, they wish oh, th that we share the following. We are the mothers and fathers, sisters, brothers. Ugh, God, who gives a shit? All of this teary-eyed fucking nonsense. And this is a terrible tragedy for man many families, victims, parade-goers, and community and our own. Our hearts and thoughts and, uh, thoughts and prayers, thoughts and prayers go out to everybody, blah, blah, blah. According to Greenberg, attorneys Tom Durkin and Josh Herman have been selected to represent the Cremo family. Durkin told Fox 32 that he would not comment further until the Cremo's arraignment. Of course, of course, which is... Oh, after Cremo's arraignment. Sorry. Okay, not not the family. They haven't been charged with anything. Hopefully it stays that way. Yet he spoke to the family briefly by phone on Tuesday. Statement came the same day after a former, co er, former coach of the Cremo's said that the parents were a problem. And they were always the last to pick them up after school sports programs. Yeah, ma'am. Okay, this is the central argument when it comes to this stuff. Why does this shit keep happening? Why does it keep happening in different states? Why does it keep happening in different countries through different means? These massacres, these tragedies continue to happen. And there's always seeming to be one central thing when it comes to this. Broken fucking families and an overdependence on just pushing fucking pills, okay? How about we get to the bottom of that? No, just get rid of the tools. Okay, cool. Fucked people aren't going to continue to do whack shit if you just get rid of one method. Oh, okay, cool. Because we haven't seen other parade massacres carry out with a sans firearm, right? No, definitely hasn't happened within, what, the past eight months? Definitely. Nope, nope. Nothing like that could have happened at all whatsoever. Jeremy Kenman, uh, these are very Midwestern names, uh, who ran an after-school sports program at Lincoln Elementary School, said, I remember the parents more than him because they were kind of a problem there wasn't a lot of love in that family yeah no exactly it's a broken family don't get it twisted here okay they're represented by the same law firm but they live in totally different locations because you remember the shooter lived with his father right and then he went to go visit his mother and get her vehicle where he was drug out of by the police when he was arrested obviously that's another thing that a lot of these shooters also have in common single parent household the only one that uh, immediately comes to mind that's a little bit different is crumbly but that kid was fucked seven ways from sunday right he had all the warning signs and the school did nothing nothing didn't even search his backpack where he was keeping his glock like what the fuck is wrong with you if you think that he has the gun you don't do it no just blame the parents fucking what he added that piscina the mother got into it once with one of the heads of the program she was yelling oh great she sounds like a, a, a wonderful woman uh, it seemed like her kids were a nuisance to her great wonderful According to her Facebook page, Ener uh, Piscina has an energy healer with her company Trilogy Energy Systems. What? Okay, uh, Cremo's father had a local sandwich shop, Bob's Pantry and Deli, that has since closed. Yeah, probably helped on by, um, who's that fat cunt who runs that state? It's not Lori Lightfoot for the change when we're talking about Illinois, but, uh, uh, J.B. Pritzker, 
That's his name. Kind of looks like a bloated Chris Farley with a bad fucking rug. Neighbors told Fox News that the mom seemed unstable while the father was well-liked in the community. How often is that the case with so many of these things, right? The mother's just a raging cunt and the father's a big fucking worthless, spineless simp, okay? Who's just trying to make everything seem just a little bit okay. It's like, okay, honey, whenever you need, okay? Somebody who just, okay, this is the bitch I'm talking about here for a second, okay? Just wanted some vanity kids, okay? This was before the whole dog in the purse phenomenon went on, okay? No, I just need to have kids because I want to push around the stroller, okay? I want to be important, okay? I want to get all the accolades and all the attention, like the bitch has a fucking energy healer okay it's like i don't know when the divorce or anything like that happened or when they began or when they became separate households but i imagine this was also pretty recently because yeah bob had his own business which either got helped out uh, or helped along it with its closing thanks to the government or thanks to a nice divorce going on as well and the guy couldn't afford to keep his fucking you know, lo his little sandwich shop going okay so that he ended up living with his grandfather and his uncle underneath the same roof and see it's all starting to kind of make a little bit more sense here anyways okay uh Neighbors told Fox News that the mom seemed unstable while the father was liked in the community. He was so nice. He gave the kids free candy and treats. Again, a guy trying to keep the family together, not realizing that um, it's not really worth it. It's just modern relationships in a nutshell, okay? Gotta vet your women better, especially when they have a fucking energy healer. Like, what the hell is wrong with that? Anyways, uh, Uncle Paul, huh? I uh, spoke to a local outlet uh, saying he is deeply, deeply sorry. We talked about that yesterday. Uh, saying that uh, the shooter was always very respectable and I can't say anything bad about him. Well, you know, except for that one very obvious thing. Um, Authority said at a press conference Tuesday that they anticipate announcing more charges. According to investigators, Cremo initial capture uh, was dressed as a woman while blending in with the crowd fleeing the scene. Cremo was pulled over by police approximately five miles north of the shooting several hours after the police released the man's photo. The image investigators have not determined a motive of the attack uh, according to Lake County Major Crime Task Force spokesperson Christopher Cavelli. Yeah, like it says here, just right here at the bottom. Highland Park officials in 2013 approved a ban on semi-automatic weapons and large capacity ammunition magazines. Looks like that, uh, yeah, illegal guns. They'll work. Yeah, no, they'll stop all of these tragedies from or er, happening, right? It's almost like, it's almost like bad people will get their hands on stuff in order to carry out bad acts regardless of the laws right a lock will only keep out an honest criminal wild wild right dozens of other shooting in nearby chicago left eight people dead and 60 wounded over fourth of july weekend working really nice layout for you but tucker like i said at the outset really just kind of encapsulated all this stuff way too many pills are getting pushed on these fucking kids and it's having major consequences right Oh, kid, you're feeling a little depressed or a little rambunctious? Here, just sh 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 take some pills. Just, just sh shut up, okay? Schools don't want any fuss. Your mother's a crazy snatch, okay? Your father's just a spineless asshole who's either working all the time or just doesn't want to deal with this cunt of a wife. You're getting totally neglected, and then you just grow up in this current state of fucking society, okay? Adopting aspects from the left, adopting aspects from the right, just trying to fit in somewhere. A young man without his own identity Entity ends up adopting that of the worst aspects of society okay why don't we talk about that okay you want to talk about the tragedies all the time just surface level interpretations of what's actually going on instead of trying to dig down and figure out why all of this stuff is happening well tucker said you are not supposed to notice that psychiatric drugs are driving young american men insane i yeah couldn't agree more uh, Fox News Channel's Tucker Carlson asked the question about whether mind-altering SSRI drugs have a connection to the massive increase in mass murder suicides, particularly among young American men. Well, and also, you take a look at the most unhappy demographic. Those are your career women in honor about 40 years of age. Okay, they're single, they're childless, and they're on that same handful of fucking drugs because those psychiatrists, those pill pushers that they have, I feel so that oh don't worry these pills will make you feel better they keep you on the big pharma tit they never want to solve any of your problems because then again that also affects their bottom line the shrink the shrink and the doctor as well 
every once in a while you'll find a good psychiatrist who actually wants to get to the bottom of why exactly are you so depressed oh it's because of your your lifelong uh, terrible decision making choices oh okay cool how about we address that stuff how about we make you less afraid of stuff how about we go back and uh, reconcile some of your other bad decisions that are out there okay how about we put you in a better situation than you're in right now no it's just easier to prescribe a zanny or something like that just check out from society for a while hey why not just um decriminalize pot and make sure that everybody just has the opportunity to simply escape for a while right if your situation's too fucked you can just uh, plunk on a youtube video right you can just plug in a movie you can just escape for a moment right you can just pour yourself a nice little drink after work if you hate your shitty fucking job that you just despise every day you come home you throw one back or two and then you feel all right for a while you see a problem with this stuff if it happens in a social setting every once in a while okay i i'm ugh, i don't like it personally but i understand it right social drinking social party situations okay that's I got to accept that in some form or fashion. I'm not a big fan of that stuff, but again, that's my personal bias when it comes to this stuff. But if people are just looking for escapism every once in a while, what are you escaping from? If your shitty reality can be escaped from and that you just engage in video games or I don't know, binge watching the MCU, okay? Your digital life is better than your actual life, then obviously you're just going to want to engage in your digital life. You're just going to do the bare minimum when it comes to your actual workaday life. And then at the end of the day, when you realize that, oh fuck, I'm about a, a retirement age and I haven't accomplished fuck all. Hmm. It just kind of seemed like the past 30 ish years were all in a haze because literally glug, 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 you just fucking spent it all in a haze imagine that and that's what we're seeing right now like my generation okay if there was somebody who was too or too bouncy or something i'd just stick them on fucking adderall or something like that that might have been maybe a little bit after me but now we're starting to see okay that generation come up and everybody is so fucking sad like an old feminist right who's just on all of her fucking antidepressants out there i never see an article i see a lot of articles to the contrary of this like i wasted my life with feminism and oh boy all it left me was just a bitter shit shell of myself and i repent for all of my years of fucking failure and it's too late for me hopefully it's not for you i never see anybody happy about their life okay i never see like a, a happy single sexy flirty 60 year old doesn't fucking happen and then when it comes to old men who have just wasted their fucking lives just drugged out on antidepressants we're eventually gonna get there or maybe or maybe they're just putting a sunroof in the top of their fucking skull because that's also what's happening, right? There's been more attempted suicides reported from women, but actual completed suicides, that's happening from men. And especially if they're being um, prescribed these me uh, these psychos er, psychedelic drugs, okay? The reality altering drugs that are out there. They might get this warped perception where, hey, um, I can be somebody for once after years and years of everybody telling me that I'm not special. Okay, everything that's just intrinsically male about me is wrong and I should be more feminized. Okay, just making these gray jumpsuit people that are out there, masculinized women, feminized men. I'm just a good little soldier. I just take the pills. I just do my job. I just do my work. And then eventually somebody fucking snaps and wants to make a name for themselves and then just decides that, hey, before I go, I'm taking everybody with me. So at least they'll know my fucking name. That's a warped perception of reality. Don't get me wrong. And it's definitely getting helped along by the fact that these antidepressants are getting way, way, way too much prescription use right now. now let's go back to what Tucker was saying here because he's going to go ahead and illustrate that with some facts and logic pew pew anyways did it work let's see over the same period the suicide rate in the united states jumped 35 percent did it work well millions of people got on anti-suicide drugs and we wound up with many more suicides so maybe it's not working yeah uh one of the side effects on antidepressants at least the stuff that's right up there at the top are our mood swings and feeling uh and suicidal thoughts 
You're supposed to be taking those so you don't have suicidal thoughts. But then again, were they ever intended for long-term usage? Okay, like I understand. I don't want to be sounding flippant when it comes to mental health, okay? But when it comes to anxiety and depression, there's some shit that you can be doing in order to fucking make sure that that's not a long-term effect on your life. I'm just saying, there's probably some shit that you're not reconciling with and that you're just trying to cover it up with. Oh my god, I'm just not in control of my circumstances. Those are those idiots who don't really think too much about free will and just think that I'm just a passenger in the car of life. Do some real problem solving in your own life, you might be able to get past that. But when it comes to schizophrenia and some real psychotic breaks... Are that, is that getting pushed along by the overdependence on these antidepressants, these SSRIs and SS, or I forget, there's another one that's out there, but the SSRIs are the most common ones, okay? These are opiates. These are dependency creating drugs. But enough about my diatribe. This video is going on too long anyways, but let's get what Tucker had to say. Uh, they're numbered by endless psychotropic drugs that they're handed out in every school in the country by crackpots posing as counselors. And of course, they're angry. Uh, they know that their lives will not be better than their parents. They'll be worse. That all... Oh, that's all but guaranteed. Yeah, no, exactly. You just turn on the news. You just listen to anybody talk right now when it's coming to this sad realization that, oh man, maybe mean tweets were probably better for the economy and uh, probably wouldn't lead to this incoming recession with food so food shortages and... Um, you know what, hearing my parents or parent, if the, if it's your modern family, okay, you just have one parent at home, realizing that uh, Bill's eh, shit ain't fucking working as well as it used to, okay, I got this much money, I got this much debt for this month, so what am I gonna have to do, start selling foot pics on the fans, like, what, what the fuck are we gonna do, what are we gonna be doing about this shit, everything that you hear is that, um, yeah, uh, the future isn't quite that certain because the immediate future is looking awfully fucking bleak. But back to this, they know that. They're not stupid, and yet the authorities in their lives, mostly women, yep, no, exactly, and imposing their feminine perspective on all this stuff, okay? Feminine train of thought, or train of thought. The feminine, my feels over my thinks, okay? Because the way that women process impulses or information into their life is so much different than men okay and because what your schools are being filled with like 80 percent female teachers right now and most of them are activists trying to push their own agendas oh you're you're confused you're probably on the spectrum or if it's not the autism spectrum it's the sexual spectrum and don't worry we got a little course for that and let me tell you more no 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 less about that history because oh you're also white oh that means you're a slaver and you had a direct hand in what was happening 400 fucking years ago it's like wait what so everything is my fault and i'm wrong about everything oh okay cool so what do i do about that just take these pills it'll make you feel all better about that so yeah never stop them lecturing about their so-called privilege there it is you're male and you're privileged imagine that try to imagine an unhealthier ha unhappier life than that I'm thankful I got out of the public school system when I did because all of this shit was just on the fucking horizon. Thankfully, I don't have any kids running through that system right now because that's a fate worse than death. A lot of young men in America are going nuts. Are you surprised? Ham, by the way, there's a shockingly large number of them been, have been prescribed psychotropic drugs by their doctors, SSRIs, or antidepressants. And that would include quite a few mass shooters. And keep in mind, again, these drugs aren't meant to prevent prevent crazy behavior behavior and yet that seems to be a connection yeah no eric harris the columbine killer uh was on zoloft and luvox a year earlier 15 year old called kip kinkle shot his parents and a dozen of class or er, classmates he was on prozac 2005 16 year old called jeff weiss killed his grandmother and 10 kids in minnesota he was on prozac as well so uh was 27 year old stephen cam uh cam is whatever uh fucking eastern block name who murdered six people at northern illinois university in 2012 you may also recall 25 year old james holmes who walked into a movie theater and shot 82 people he was on the loft so but mike mike tothin was on the loft we don't kill you motherfuckers uh the list goes on and on and on and the shooters include washington navy yard in 2013 34 year old aaron alexis that includes dylan roof yeah no uh 21 year old shot uh 
church in Charleston uh, now. He is apparently a racist, and we've heard a lot about that. Fine. Uh, not uh, We've heard next to nothing about the fact that he was taking SSRIs. He and many, many others you're not supposed to notice, but some have. Yeah, I don't know if they references as well, but uh, Anders Brevik across the sea. You take a look at his family life, and that might be a subject worth diving into in its own specific video, but um, his familial structure played a heavy fucking hand into what tragedy he carried out. I'm just saying, he might have been getting raped by his mother. Just saying, okay? But less said about that and how uh, single mothers are just heroes by dropping off their kids at school, yelling at everybody else because it's not her fault, I'm strong and independent. <laughs> Meanwhile, his kid um, is getting no attention at home, okay, and just being told to take these pills. It'll make you feel better, okay? Journal of Political Psychology once assembled a list of a dozen mass killings, all committed by young people, young men on prescription drugs. So, is there a connection? Well, we don't know definitely, or definitively, sorry. We do know that there are a whole lot more of these drugs being taken by kids than there have ever been in the entire population. So, who's uh, taking some prescription medication at this point between 1991, a year after I was born, and 2018? Total SSRI prescription in the United States rose by more than 3,000 fucking percent. 3,000 percent of anything is a massive change. Y y yeah, literally, yeah, yeah, okay. You don't see changes like that, except for when it comes to inflation, just given enough time. But the point of this is that uh, it's supposed to make Americans calmer, saner, and happier. Take these drugs and your problems will go away. Yes, you will become numb and you will you lose a part of yourself. No, and you talk to anybody who's on these type of drugs and you can read the rest of this. I'll link to it, obviously. And I think it just kind of goes over everything else that we were talking about, to be completely honest. But yeah, no, it's all about keeping big pharma's uh, pockets full and... Uh, Tucker, by talking about this stuff, uh, considering the fact that Big Pharma funds like 75 to 80 percent of advertiser dollars that are on regular television, yeah, that's uh, something that people don't want to talk about. That's probably why uh, fundry uh, uh, politicians don't want to talk about it either because you take a look at some of their biggest individual donors, it's all like pharma, uh, Pfizer, and Moderna, it's all Big Pharma money, anyways, all the way fucking down. This is what the left, okay, this is what leftists, Democrats, used to think okay just no more big corporations big pharma's all corrupt what has happened over the past couple of years just trust big pharma they know everything about that you just line up for your fourth fucking jab don't worry about it pfizer has your best intentions in mind you take a look at a lot of stupid blue check marks that are on twitter okay what's in or at least what there was okay before ukraine flag started to show up okay team pfizer team moderna double vaxxed if you think that the government if you think that these big corporations actually have your back and they just don't want to be creating lifelong consumers that's exactly why they continue to push all the trans movement shit lifelong customers if you want to start you know, charging anybody else out there for committing these heinous tragedies right like i said before okay you had crumbly's parents okay they're getting charged with uh negligent manslaughter something like that that's ridiculous okay and then a couple uh, i think what was it uh, the sandy hook shooter they're also uh, uh, remington got sued because he used a remington rifle like th uh, that was the intended um the intention behind Remington creating that rifle. Oh, okay, cool. It's specifically used for excellent accuracy in a fucking elementary school. I don't think they intended for that to happen, but they ended up having to pay out the hundreds of millions of dollars. Totally fucked, okay? But again, just drill down a little bit deeper. Why are so many young women tempting to kill themselves by overdosing on their antidepressants? Why are so many young men acting out like this because they're always more likely, okay? Because being men, even the current state of manhood, okay, you have far more testosterone running through your system, your average man and your average woman, okay, 17 times more testosterone in a male body, okay, and that's going to make you more aggressive, so you're going to be more likely to complete the job if you're just trying to be a one-man fireworks display, or if you're going to be taking it out on everybody in the fucking neighborhood. Women look for attention, men look for results, that's just a fucking fact of life, and unfortunately when it's played out on such a big stage such as this, this is what you end up getting but again I, i'm sure these pills are incredibly necessary for some of the more you know intense 
psychotic breaks that happen, the severe conditions, your bipolar disorder, okay, schizophrenia, you, 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 total mental breakdown. But when it comes to somebody just saying, I just kind of feel bad about the fact I lost my job and my best friend's kind of a loser and nobody likes me at work and I just need to feel good. Instead of teaching people how to take responsibility for their life, nah, it's just easier here. Just, just, just take a pill. Don't worry about it. You should be looking at holding these motherfuckers accountable for just pushing these pills all the fucking time. Okay, you want to talk about some more propaganda that goes on? Just tune in to regular old television. All you'll see during the ad break is, here's a pill that'll make you feel good. Here's a pill that'll make your bowel movements flow a little bit easier. Here's a pill that, hell, might even do both at the same time. Everybody knows it. You can go and take a look at some of the old comedy routines that are out there. I think it's a Robin Williams bit where it was a, what, fuck it all? Where you just sit back in a chair and you just, you don't give a shit about anything. You're sitting in your own feces. Fuck it all. We've known about this for a long fucking time and it's about time somebody does something about this. Because if you actually want to stop these tragedies from happening, yeah, you should probably get to the root cause because that's the only time anything ever fucking happens. But they don't want to. They just want another campaign uh, opportunity to go dance on the corpses of dead parents. But with all that said, thank you all very much for the gift of your time. I've been Don Consuelo. I want you to follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.